Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, welcome to the channel. Um, me and Aspen kind of just brainstorm about things to talk about, so we talk about random things. There he is. We're just going down the road. We did a couple raids. I'm going to include it on this video, so hopefully right here to my side, or to one of the sides anyway, we are doing some Palkia raids. So uh, trying to get the shiny, so hopefully uh, you'll watch those and see how we did. We played with a few of our locals here in town who are protesting and protest has been big in the news here lately for Niantic and for Pokemon Go players. Um, we did get a response which uh, the hear us Niantic hashtag was viral. Um, they did respond which I imagine was probably hard for them because you know Pokemon is one of those things it's not just owned by one person. You have Pokemon but then you have Nintendo uh, so, you know, you have different people, different organizations you have to talk to when you're making a Pokemon game. So I'm sure Niantic was hustling and bustling to try to talk to their different um, owners and different people to try to get everything organized. But did respond in the same day that the boycott happened, which was pretty big, but didn't give everybody the news that they wanted to hear. So, still a bit touchy said they were going to compile a group of people to go around and do different things which a lot of people are just assuming could be stall tactics for all we know maybe they are going to do that there's no way for us to really know you just had a lot of things happening and and the big thing right now is um heracross so that's the big thing that everybody's talking about right now so heracross is a regional pokemon uh, we were able to catch it when we went to south florida South Florida, South Texas, and I think maybe uh, parts of South America or somewhere, Heracross only spawns in certain places, which makes it difficult to catch. And the thing that we're trying to understand is Niantic wants us to explore, and they say they want you to explore. So when people find out that this beautiful shiny is going to be in this game finally, and they're not from this area, they think, hey, well, we found out where it is. We're gonna go there, we're gonna explore this shiny, we're gonna try to get this shiny Pokemon because we want it in our collection. And then Niantic pulls it out of the wild, so it's not in the wild anymore. So, but how are we supposed to know that something like that's going to happen? So you have people travel from other countries, from other states to go into that area to try to shiny hunt that, to play the game that they want us to explore, and then they remove it from the wild. I completely don't agree with this. I completely don't believe that it should have been removed from the wild. I am totally opposed to that. And now you have a whole different group of people. Some of the people that we raided with today and other people around the world and around this country and all over the place who are now going to refuse to do raids for Heracross because it's like that pay to play thing. And they say you don't have to play. Well, okay. So let's say that Heracross is 1 in 20. I'm sure that it's not. Let's say it's 1 in 50. Let's say it's 1 in 75. You get one free raid pass per day. What well, I think they may have actually changed that to two. So let's say you get two free raid passes. You know what your odds are of getting a shiny hair across from a raid with that, with that kind of odds and that amount of free raid passes? It's slim to none. But you have people that are already level 50. The incredible amount of dedication that they have put into this game to reach that point in this game is is unbelievable. And so these are people that play, and some of these people, this is their livelihood. This is what they do. They they broadcast this game. They stream them playing this game. Right. They make a lot of money. They put a lot of time and effort into this game. And they totally remove something from the wild with no heads up that that was going to happen. Hey, Heracross is going to be in the raids, but it'll be the only way you can get it. They didn't tell us. Nobody had no way of knowing that. So you did have people travel. You did have people travel from other parts of the world to go to the areas where this Pokemon would be spawning, only to find out that they removed it from the wild. So you have to use a raid pass. And even if you use your free raid passes, your chances are astronomical of getting a shiny hair across with the few free raid passes that they give you. You're just probably not going to do it. Um, I was lucky when Dialga came out. Somebody invited me to a Dialga raid uh, when it first came out, and I got a shiny on the first one. You know how many times that's happened? I've been playing this game since it came out. 
we started playing this game when it came out. That's the first time this ever happened to me. First time it's ever happened in all these years, five years, because we just had the five year celebration. So in five years, that happened once. Yep. One time. So here we are again, where they say it's not necessarily a have to, a pay to play game, but it really is. You're gonna have to put money into the game. And this happens a lot. Um, I did watch a few YouTubers do 70 plus raids on Dialga and not get a shiny. Um, you know, me and Aspen have played this game really hard. A lot of this people in this town, I have a messenger group that's got a lot of good people in it. So this game has brought a lot of good things other than just Pokemon into our lives. We're very appreciative of that. But when it comes down to it, the whole thing is about this game. Right. And there are a lot of kids that are playing this game. And they know this game. They know what the shinies look like. They know Aspen is one of these kids. He's a highly functioning autistic child. He knows what most of the shinies look like for yeah. these Pokemon. He knows the difference in the male and female. That's how much he knows about this game. So, like, I'll but tell how... people and see, like, the shiny looks like this. So, like, if it's normal, and I'll tell you, like, that this mm -hmm. is what the shiny looks like. Whenever you get it, this is what it looks like. Know the difference between the male and female. That's what it looks like. And that way you know. And he knows. And he and he's educated people and he and he loves the fact that he knows that so he wants that hair across shiny yeah, I do. Well, you've got kids playing this game how can you explain to them that well that Pokemon's not in the wild anymore and there are kids that are in the areas where it was spawning that want to go outside hey can we go search for hair across now when you got to tell them no we can't do that we have to raid well, or if they're in an area where there are no gyms then you have then you have the driving cost then you're going to have to eat out. You're going to have to have food. You could pack pack a lunch probably. But, I mean, there again, where the areas where it spawns is hot. It's that time of year where it's really hot. Really hot. So, I don't know. I'm torn. But I feel like... Uh, I feel like everybody should respect everybody's viewpoints on however they view this. Just respect their decision. If somebody doesn't want to pay to play anymore, totally respect that. Somebody does still want to put money into this game, I respect that too. But you're going to have to respect everybody's decision because they're making us make these decisions. And that's the part that really bothers me when I wake up and first thing I see on Twitter is just, uh, it's just a, a crap storm. Uh, to be nice about it. I could use the other word, but I'm not going to. But it is. Post after post after post, tweet after tweet after tweet was nothing but, why is Niantic doing this again? I'm going to tell you, if you're going to run this game and you're going to run this company, you're, you're, you're treading on very thin ice. You have a lot of people who have gone out and played this game recently, who uh, got invited to this game because they gave us the invitations to send to people and that were handicapped, who could reach the stops and gyms, and now they can't. So we invite them to a game that now is a completely different game for them. Mm -hmm. And apparently we have to wait till September 1st to get some kind of answer for that. You know, there's just so many things about this game that are frustrating. Um, and we appreciate everything Niantic has done. Thank you, Niantic, for giving us a great game. Thank you for no doubt working hard at this game. Thank you for uh, going that extra mile and giving us extra bonuses when the pandemic is going was going on slash is going on. Um, I, we appreciate that. But I think you need to listen more. And I think you need to make it happen probably a little bit faster. Yeah. Um, we live in the age of communication. Communicate with each other. Realize you got a lot of people that love this game. Give the love back. We hope that re this reaches a lot of people. We want to hear your feedback. Please comment, like our videos, and subscribe. please subscribe. subscribe. You guys take care. Have an amazing day. See you later.